The Audio Technica 120 series is an incredibly well built direct drive turntable system. Uh, the one in silver is the previous gen LP120 USB, and the one in black is the 120X USB with an X in the model number. In this review, I'm going to show you their differences uh, and the improvements in the current gen. I would highly recommend this guy, the current gen, of course, for the following reasons. So first of all, you can see the power consumption when the turntable is spinning, it is consuming 8.5 watts. And the current gen has dramatically cut this down and it has an even higher torque motor. When it's not spinning, it also consumes 7.6 watts. I think the AC to DC converter inside is less efficient and just constantly consumes this much, even if you're not using it, unless you turn it off. which is zero, okay? And keep in mind, it's using this type of uh, cable. It's uh, just a regular user replaceable cable, cable in the back. But if I convert, connect this thing, turn it on, it's consuming 1.6 uh, watts of power. When it's spinning, it only takes 2.3 watts even when it's connected to a stereo. Both has phono line output. Okay, so that's a huge difference in terms of electricity. So if you use it a lot or forget to turn it off, this thing will draw a lot of power. And uh, the previous gen, however, it is uh, about 6.5 pounds more uh, heavier and the current gen is lighter but the build quality is still amazing unless you carry them side by side you probably won't notice that's a lot of weight actually and now let's take a look at the controls the current gen has this more of a standard eight percent to sixteen percent tempo range turn it on oh i forgot to power on the switch okay uh, the 8%, 16%. Why on the previous gen, at the same location, we have the R and F switch, the reverse or forward, which is not available. This feature is not available in the current gen. Let me plug in power again. You can do reverse, so it spins reverse, uh, counterclockwise. The pitch adjustment is 10 to 20%. 8 to, 10, 10, uh, 8 to 16, 10 to 20. The slider works exactly the same. Has a positive stop in the center. The quads says quads. So the controls stop slightly different. The target light is also different. So the previous chin has a more interesting design. You have to uh, press on the light itself to turn it off and press this button, comes back on. Well, the current gen, you can, you, there's no on off switch, but you can simply unplug the light. And it's easy to change the angle. Well, this one, you cannot change the angle. Um, well, I guess it's uh, more of a personal preference, but it feels like the previous gen is a bit, a bit well more well designed. I, I prefer this type of design, but yeah, there's mechanics involved, right? The light on the on off switch cannot be turned off. And the 45 RPM adapter in the previous gen is a solid piece of aluminum CNC machined aluminum. Well, on the current gen, it is a plastic one, which is not a big deal. I never use it. The counterweight and the anti-skidding um, system is exactly the same. I don't see any improvement. Um, the, the cartridge is different. I heard this one has a lower voltage output 
while on the uh, current gen it has a higher voltage so it's supposed to be better this uh, included stylus is still supposed to be better as well um, the the feet are highly cushioned very very cushioned and you can see it is th it's thinner than the previous gen well in the back if we move back here and the motor has a higher torque of course so for the previous gen uh, for the current gen we have a usb port same as uh, the previous gen we've got the rca that's the uh the metal one is a ground connection which does not exist in the previous gen has the phono uh, line out switch and then of course the uh, dc input here we have an ac input so that cable is user replaceable you can unplug it and get a shorter one or um longer one usb connection the phono to line switch the rca cable connection is um not user replaceable so if you if that cable is damaged then it's going to be hard to replace or you have to do some soldering work but on the current gen it is a uh, user replaceable so yeah it's a much much refined unit M higher torque motor more efficient less power consumption easier to replace cables um, and standard uh, tempo range the dust cover works exactly the same not sure if they're interchangeable sound wise i could not tell any difference using its rca preamp uh, or you know phono preamp still a wonderful machine so uh, can't go wrong with either but so i'm not sure if this model has been uh, discontinued so if you are on, in the market for something like this the manual turntable and if you get the get to choose definitely pick the more recent one i i know there are a lot of people who prefer the previous gen but you know uh, based on what i can see the the precision of the turntable is slightly better i'm um, maybe not obvious on the camera you can see slight movement I guess the pre the high, has a higher precision motor or platter design on the on the current gen. It's it's very very subtle, but that will greatly affect the sound quality. Um, but anyway, unless you have very high end expensive stereo system, it will not hear the difference. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to tell. But still, I, uh, the build quality wise, I actually prefer the current gen. This doesn't look bad at all, but you know, overall design, uh, especially the connectors. Um, yeah, I, I love this machine. It's, it's beautifully designed. And, uh, but the only thing is that it does not stop when the record reaches the end. Yeah, I forgot to mention that since it is designed to be fully automatic, it just doesn't stop. Hold on. Doesn't matter if I'm using the previous gen or current gen. So it reaches the end will keep spinning forever uh, but um, since it is really targeted for DJs I guess or as a fully manual turntable it's not a big issue but you might want to keep an eye on it when the record st stops um, yeah so that's the only complaint I wish it will just stop its motor from spinning 
when the record finishes. Uh, all right. Thank you very much for watching.